Ah, Woodbridge, another beautiful day in Woodbridge. See the cars we have in the stable today, my wife's car, my beautiful Z28, and our Camry. Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. If you hear that generator, that very loud generator in the uh, background, it is this big, giant, beautiful house that uh, is being built right next door to my house. That used to be a big lot of uh, trees, looked kind of like that but it was across the street. But anyways, so back to uh, the issue at hand. So recently I put the heads and cam and exhaust on the car and I had to put 500 miles on it uh, to break in the cam and, and it was time for an oil change. And a few days ago, I had, well I have, I've got about 600 miles on it. And a few days ago I was driving in, uh, in let's see, where was I? Uh, I was someplace in Mexico and I happened to be uh, uh, racing another car up a, a road very similar to the road by my house and I did a, a wonderful uh, pull the car has so much power and the, the exhaust kind of uh, separated from the back of the car the exhaust it's been a uh, kind of a nightmare uh, for me since I put this new exhaust on it so here let's take a look hopefully you can see this but my exhaust should not move around like this. There is a kind of a bolt right here and it should go through this bracket and there should be a nut on the other side that is uh, holding it in place. And unfortunately, I think when I stomped on the gas, it popped loose. I guess the saying, you race it, you break it is an accurate statement. If I would have been driving the normal speed limit, whatever it is in Mexico, I'm sure it's 30 miles an hour, uh, that wouldn't have happened. But uh, when I when those 467 horsepower hit the uh, hit the road, yeah, my exhaust uh, broke off. So not only is it going to Tynes Automotive description right here uh, to get its oil change, but I'm also going to uh, have them take a look at the exhaust and have them uh, uh, fix it for me. And I'm gonna head there right now. Look at this beauty I found in the shop. What's that? Oh, funny you should notice that. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a surprise for you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually not here just for an oil change. Yeah. So I happened to be doing some legal street racing in Mexico a few days ago. Oh. And, uh, and, and as soon as I put the pedal to the, metal. to the metal, this like really loud noise started happening from the rear of the car and I wasn't sure what it was. So I went ahead and I beat the stock Honda Civic. You know, oh. you know, which which I, which I was pretty impressed, uh, and then immediately pulled over and and saw that. Yes. So, yes. and it's you know, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. I mean, you're very familiar with the exhaust in this car. Yeah, man. I'm sure, it's a broken hanger or something. Actually, it doesn't look like it's broken. It looks like the there's a bolt, and the bolt just came off. Oh, that one bolt there. Yeah, the one bolt, and it's pretty tight. So, you know, you may have to be creative. We'll figure it out. Always they, they always figure it out at Tynes Automotive. I break it, they fix it. <laughs> All tucked away for the next few days, and uh, I'm sure it'll be done sometime tomorrow. God, why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? And look at this. There, there, there's, there's his fancy car right there. Oh, dude, that's just a hoopty, but I do have a bumper on it. Nice. Actually, yeah, the, the bumper was off it last time. I'm, I'm sure it had nothing to do with him crashing into anything. You hear that? Tynes Automotive, they're damn customers. Yeah, it wasn't me this damn time. Customers. They hit our bumpers. They take them off. Nice. What? $100 fix? They can't beat a $100 Craigslist bumper. You know, bumper, eBay, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Good color match, too. It's not bad. It could be a little better, but. Cool. All right, man. Talk to you later. Ooh, Chevy Silverado SS. Ooh, sounds nice. Sounds nice. You don't see those very often. Mm hmm. So the car is all tucked in at Tynes Automotive and the guys there are going to do a uh, great job. Here Leon had a slight little procedure today and he just got out of the hospital so 
uh, everybody uh, wish him well I'm sure he'll have a speedy recovery so Trey uh, take care of my car and uh, I will see you guys in a couple days for me it'll be a couple days for you guys it'll be like that and we're back the car's ready the car's back and the car is all together and uh, now it's time to have a little bit of fun with the car